All right, so the, for the final file for this week, I want it's just a review of layer masks. Okay, they're really important. Um, we're going to continue to use them. Um, probably just about every week, we'll have something that deals with layer masks. All right, so here's what I want you to do on this file. I want you to move this gentleman behind the desk. Now, um, you'll notice the desk has its own background. So my options are either uh, delete out the white space here, which I could do, okay, and then move him behind. Okay. What may be easier is to simply make a layer mask on the areas that I want okay, him to be behind. So on the, now what I'm essentially doing is hiding part of him so that we can see the background. It's really the way to think about it. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to shrink him down a bit, right? Because if he was back here, running, okay, um, he would not fit in currently as he is sized. So I'm kind of looking at something like this. Yeah, that's probably pretty good. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to make a selection of this, okay, and make it a layer mask for him. So there's a couple of things I could do. Now here, this is nice and easy because this is all white. All right, so if I take my quick select tool, um, you remember that is W is the keyboard shortcut, and it's right here. Okay, I could, oops, got to make sure I'm in the right layer first. Okay, I could very quickly select this. All right. Um, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see. Got a pretty good selection. If I wanted to get the rest of this phone, just in case I wanted to move them further, I could come over here and add it in. You could also do this quite easily with the polygonal lasso tool, right? Because it's almost all um, straight lines. Okay. Uh, whatever way it works. Okay, I'm going to turn him back on, and then I'm going to go ahead and click. Oops, make sure I'm on his layer. <laughs> and make a layer mask. Now, once again, right, I either have to invert my selection first or in my properties, click invert. Either way, either one will do it, okay? So just to show you, let me step back. I can either hit Command-Shift-I or Control-Shift-I to invert, okay? And then make a layer mask, right? Or I can uh, do it on my properties. Either one works. Now, once again, the way he's masked, right, if I move, <laughs> the layer mask moves with me, which now we're starting to get into some kind of fun, surreal territory, but that's not what we want. So if I wanted to adjust him after having applied this layer mask, I'm just going to turn the link off between my object and my layer mask. Okay. I'm going to make sure I'm on him, and now I can move him around. And you'll notice if I pull him down too far, you can see that leg. Okay. But in this case, I can move him anywhere here okay. and have him running. <clears throat> I can even have him running out of the frame, okay, all the way up to this point. Now, since I've done this, right, you'll notice the edge is a little ugly here. Right? You can come in and you can, uh, especially using your polygonal lasso tool, Set it to black. Make sure I'm on my layer mask. <clears throat> okay. Okay. And I could fill that or hit just hit shift delete and fill. All right. Um, you can also prevent this. <clears throat> Let's step back. Before applying the layer mask, okay, <clears throat> if you have any of your selection tools on, okay, you click on Select and Mask. I'm going to go ahead and put it on black and white so you can see what you're masking. And you can smooth your selection by pulling the slider to the right, hit OK, 
right? And now apply my layer mask. Inverted. Turn off the link. And, oops, make sure we're on the man. And here we go. Much better, right? Okay. Now, one thing I noticed right here, it's fun, is I'm seeing his shoe through here. So if I pull him over to here, all I have to do on my layer mask is come in and paint that part out. Okay, and I would just get a hard round brush. Set it to 100%, and I can just paint that right out. There we go. All right, so that's it. So for this file, place him behind uh, the desk. So you're going to have to shrink him, move him around. I don't really care where he is back here. Um, I think having the foot fly up looks a little bit better, more dynamic, I guess. <clears throat> and place him behind the desk. And uh, that's all I have to do for this file.